Well, we're back at uh, 11 Mile Canyon, Saturday, the last day. The fishing since early this morning, caught uh, maybe about six or seven fish. Some of them got, got loose, landed about six or seven. This time it was cutthroat and rainbow trout, about half and half. We're here at the uh, dam, just right above Lake George, and see if we can do uh, any good here. And after we hit this, we're going to go further up, all the way back up to the spillway, the 11 miles, and uh, stop periodically and catch, and that's what we've been doing. We stop at the pullouts and uh, fish a little bit, catch one or two, and go on to the next one. This first time we fished this, it looks really good, but uh, nothing yet. that out of the way. So that was like your third cast. Yeah. Mm. You ready to try to? Yep. You can get him underwater after that too. Oh, he's going to take off. Oops. Okay, got him. Oh, he's got right here. Right in here with a little bit of steam. Second one I've seen jump. Nice fish there. I mean, a, a real nice fish. That's a nice rainbow. I've got to land this fish, dude. I've got to land this fish. Yeah, he's big. Fish. That's uh, 15. Oh my goodness, that is a nice fish. Oh man, I hooked him good. 
Yeah, he ain't going anywhere. Just need to get the hook out of him. <sighs> a good picture of this one. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep him in the water. Wow. Let me hold on to it. Yeah, let me hold, let me hold this. this. Oh, you put both hands on it. Yeah. Got him flopping loose on me. Got him? Yep. Hit me. How, how big? How big? Where do you go? Oh, right there. <laughs> I almost lost him. Uh, they got a lot of muscle on. I'm gonna get a picture. I want to see if we can, uh, when you release him, get him into, uh, get him under the water. So we got pictures in the net and all that. That's a good yeah. fish. That is a beautiful rainbow. You want to talk about him real quick before we let him go? Oh, it's the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. 11 Mile Canyon. We're up by the dam, right? Just up here is a quarter mile right below the spillway, the dam. But a beautiful rainbow. I've been seeing them out here, but it's the first one I caught. He's nice, uh, 15 inch. I don't know how long my net is here, but he's as long as the net. We're gonna turn him back. It's a catch and release river. So he's in, still in good shape. So we're gonna try to get some underwater video of him on a release. Did you get him? Okay. Oh, yeah, he's not here. You got him. What's nice about this net, it's easy to get the hook loose. I caught a little rainbow here. We're right below the, there's the dam, 11 mile reservoir. We're right here up to the limits of public access. And uh, heavily fished, so we still have just two or three casts and caught this one little rainbow here. Get him out, catch and release of course. I'm gonna see what happens. You good?
They run from that, that like, see, you can't, you can't get him in that net. They run. They're going to mess around and lose that fish. It's a yeah, battle log. I've watched a lot of fishing shows. That's exactly what happens. They, they, they try to net them and they run. You got him. That's a good one. That's like the one I just caught. Well, here we are at our campsite. We've had a long day fishing here at 11 Mile Canyon at Lake George, Colorado. And we uh, started out this morning fishing and caught quite a few uh, cutthroat and rainbow, about average size, six to eight inches. Caught maybe about six or seven of them. But then towards the end of the day, we could see a lot of fish in the water. They wouldn't you know, throw everything in the world at them. They wouldn't, they wouldn't hit it. But got lucky uh, towards the end of the day, probably about five o'clock, uh, caught about an 18 inch rainbow. And then we've got a picture of it that, that, we, that we'll include. But uh, there's the biggest rainbow I've ever caught and that was the highlight of the day. That was something else. But uh, so that was a lot of fun. This is Saturday. The trip was uh, intentionally was to go to Cheeseman Canyon. There, uh, uh, Cheeseman Reservoir. Deckers, Deckers by, Colorado. Outside, just outside of Deckers. And uh, I heard a lot about that. Watched a lot of YouTube videos on it, and I went. I, I got there, and it's a beautiful place, beautiful canyon, a really nice hiking trail, nice place to park right out there on the on the on the um, two lane. I mean, uh, a two lane divided uh, uh, asphalt highway. And then you hike in there for about a mile. They got in there, and it's. It, the, the fish were just overfished. Did not catch one fish all day long, not one single fish. And, uh, and the other people I was talking to, they were having pretty much the same trouble. There's too much pressure on them, it's overfished. Uh, it's, it's, it's not that far from Denver. What about maybe 45 minute drive or so? Yes. From Denver? And same, almost from Colorado Springs. It's also from Springs. And and everybody I talked to, the regulars, that was the first time I ever fished there, but all the regulars there that fish there all the time, they told me it's way overfished, there's too much pressure on the fish. And uh, so uh, I was disappointed in Cheeseman Canyon for that reason right there. And they told me, they said Saturday is just a madhouse. The parking lot's full, packed, almost like shoulder to shoulder fishing in there because it's a it's close enough to Denver with the populace there for there a lot of people, a lot of traffic to come there and fish. So we left and then came here to 11 Mile Canyon and caught fish. The first uh, afternoon that we were here, uh, caught maybe 10 rainbows. And uh, so I was really impressed with uh, the catch and release only. And uh, caught fish yesterday, the first day that I was here and caught fish today. And uh, so, but today being Saturday, and in close proximity of, of Denver, where a lot of people come out here, it's a really a popular place. A lot of people come here on Saturday. But and there's a lot of pullouts on the road from Lake George up to the dam, 11 mile long, 11 mile canyon, 
there's a lot of pullouts and so you can always find a place to fish and uh, and catch fish because 90 percent of the people release them because that's the law and uh so there's a lot of fish you'll see fish you'll catch fish and it, it was a lot of fun fishing here today so uh uh yeah, th this was, you said that the, the size of the fish and everything were about the same uh, at Cheeseman Canyon, but Cheeseman Canyon is usually like a mile or two miles of the river, and you have to hike in, which is a chore, right. but this, you got 11 miles here, um, and so I, I evidently not as much pressure. And you can drive the uh, the road, it's, it just, it hugs the river all the way down so the road is right there on the shoreline of the river you you put you can pull off at any one of these pull offs which is numerous pull offs where you can get out of the way they got them specifically made for people to pull off and fish and then there's just maybe a 50 yard maybe a hundred yard at the most sometimes it's even closer than that walk down to the water itself to fish and uh it's just real convenient really really easy access and there's a lot of fish you'll see fish you'll see lots of fish and uh, it's just a matter of using the right lure and uh, the right time of day when they're biting and so forth. But like I said, I caught maybe 10 to 12 fish yesterday, probably about 10 today. And I did catch the really nice, probably about an 18 inch uh, rainbow, the biggest one I've ever caught. So it was a fun day. And uh, this is the end of, this is the last day. This is our last night. Uh, it, this, and the, and the, the, the Columbia Mile Canyon is really easy to get to, from, especially from Colorado Springs. You just drive I, I don't know maybe 45 minutes or an hour west of Colorado Springs and I was telling Mike the the positive is there's a road along it for 11 miles the negative is there's a road along it for 11 miles uh, you get a lot of dust uh, you get a lot of traffic some people are out just sightseeing there are campgrounds that are reservation only you, you really need to reserve ahead of time uh, we actually went up Wagon Tongue Road and uh, Wagon Tongue and uh, we're uh, rural camping and that's free um, it's a little rougher road but there's those several options I, I would say if if you like to be around a lot of people you like that this is a great spot and the fishing is really good if you don't like to be around a lot of people the farther away you can get from Denver and Colorado Springs Fort Collins the better uh, we do a lot of fishing or some fishing South Fork Southwest Colorado anyway I just want to point that out it's a great river but it's not really for everybody if you like it more quiet. Well, it was manageable for me. I'm not a pe people person. Uh, I mean, I don't like the crowds. I like isolated places where, you know, ideally you'd be the only one there. But it didn't stop me from fishing or catching fish, even though there was a lot of traffic on the road and a lot of people and a lot of fishermen. But there's plenty of places to fish, and it didn't stop or hinder me from, from catching fish or being able to fish. And it's a, a, a very, very scenic, very beautiful canyon. Uh, a lot of people taking pictures, big giant rocks, just gorgeous, beautiful scenery. Also with Cheeseman, Cheeseman's very, very beautiful, very pretty with a really nice hiking trail. And I, when I was in there fishing, I uh, ran across a lot of people that were in there just hiking, uh, just enjoying the beautiful canyon and the scenery. And the hiking trail parallels the river but up high on the side of the hill where you can look down at the river while you're hiking. And then also there's a trail right there along the river for fishermen. But uh, beautiful place to, uh, just fishing was no good for me. I was not able to catch anything. And you know, I saw lots of fish, but they just weren't. And the guys that regularly fish there, they, they said the same thing, it's tough. It's really hard to fish that because it's, it's, it's way over fish, a lot of pressure on the fish. Yeah, I was really surprised when Mike said, hey, I, got, I found a great fishing spot uh, right by your house. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Well, it's a great fishing spot, but the pressure is too much on the fresh fish. So. Uh, but it was, it was with, there's some really great campsites up there. Rural, there's, again, there's local campgrounds, and then there's rural campsites. Beautiful area. Oh, both places are beautiful. Well, that's all I've got to say about that. Wait, a... that was really boring. <laughs> I, it's been a long day. I'm really tired. I don't want to say nothing else. Well, it's been a long day. We, I fished all day and a uh, hot sun, but it was uh, a good day. And like I said, I ended the day off with a record for me, a rainbow trout, 
got good pictures. We got good video of the trout. The underwater, release, catch too. Underwater. Uh, yeah. So that was the highlight of the whole day. That was worth the whole day itself. So it was, it was a good day. Enjoyed this trip. Enjoyed the camping. Good camps out here. So uh, we got a lot more videos to come, a lot more uh, stuff to share with you. So uh, please share with us and, uh, and like and subscribe. We really appreciate it.